Yeah, so um, I got a Yeti microphone, USB microphone, and um, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm recording from it right now, so uh, it's on the stereo setting. Let me uh, move my keyboard back so I'm not right on top of it. And um, um, the volume is all the way down, you know. Um, it has a volume control that controls the input volume of the microphone. Hey, hey, hey Bobby, that's my little cookie man. <laughs> you yeah, hogging the show, there, lover. Hello, dear. Hi, baby. And um, I, I learned that trick from some kid on YouTube who said, if you keep it on the lowest setting, which is ample, I mean, you know, the, the sound isn't sacrificed, uh, you're less likely to uh, overload the mic and also less likely to pick up extraneous noises because right now we're having a heat wave, a tropical heat wave. And um, I have my uh, turbo fan on. <laughs> Hello, darling. What are we going to do now, huh? So um, I don't know if you could hear the fan, but that's the sound in the background if you can. So uh, I got, first of all, I got it at Musician's Friend, and I, I can't recommend those folks over there more highly. Uh, they've been really good to me, and if there's ever a problem, you know, they, they compensate you, and uh, they price match. So uh, they were already on the low uh, price range of this item, but I found it cheaper at B&H Photo, so I, you know, told the guy, and he went to the website, and he adjusted the price, so I'm happy with the price that I got also, uh, but like I said, I can't recommend them more highly, it's a really, really uh, decent uh, place to do business. Um, okay, so there's two things I wanted to mention about this, which are not the Yeti's fault at all, and um, uh, one of them is, you know, you have to get used to having a mic that's on the desktop, rather than a mic suspended on, on, a, uh, uh, on a webcam that's on your monitor, you know, because you tap the table, you're gonna hear it. And I wasn't aware of that in the first video I did with it, uh, being an animated person, I w you know, <laughs> all through the video you're hearing, but I'm bump, bump, and whatever. So um, they had this apparatus that, uh, in one place it was $69. I don't know if they come any cheaper, but pretty pricey. And uh, it's supposed to nestle the microphone and to avoid the, uh, the, 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 um, it picking up the shock of uh, uh, the, that kind of a shock of touching the table and whatever. But uh, I, this is what I did. I had a three pound regatta cap. Uh, it's Sorrento, but uh, I think Palio is better because it's, uh, it's a deeper, deeper cap. And the Yeti fits right in it. And then I got some uh, foam wrapping that from an item that I, I bought at eBay. They wrapped it up in the foam, and I cut cut it to fit inside uh, three layers worth. And then I glued the three layers together. You know, one, two, three. And then you know you fit it inside the cap, and then you put the Yeti on top of it and put a rubber band around it. And you know, a poor man's uh, shock absorber. And I found that it somewhat reduced that sound. Not totally, because the mic is going to pick up uh, the sound of you tapping the table, but it's not the mic that's going to be vibrating, and, uh, and it's not going to be going through the mic, up the mic base. So I found a little bit of an improvement there. The other thing is uh, I have a Logitech webcam C310. I'm very happy with it, but the, when I use the Yeti, with the webcam software, I got a clicking sound every time my, my voice went up. And I, I thought the Yeti was defective. I was going to return it. I was really disappointed. Uh, so I did some researching. I did some, you know, fiddling with the sound settings. And I finally, I even wrote to Yeti. And they were very decent, got right back to me. But the woman didn't know what to do. She suggested that I uh, mute the, uh, the webcam mic. Um, but I did that, it didn't work. So, but I happened to uh, run into a, um, a posting on the Logitech, I think it was a Logitech website. Um, but somebody had, was having some kind of problem with the C310 and the fix they had for this person was my fix. The guy said, why don't you just record with a different software, not the Logitech software, which is what I did and the problem was solved. Right now I'm using debut video capture 
Uh, I particularly like it because uh, it gives you the option to save an AVI, and I, I do prefer the AVI uh, format. But I, I tried the Windows Movie Maker software and no clicking. And uh, Sony Vegas Pro capture uh, part of the software and no clipping, uh, clicking. So it was only with the Logitech software. Uh, and I don't know, maybe it has something to do with the problem with my computer. I don't know if it's solely the software. But the thing is, all the other softwares, um, there, were no problem, there was no problem with that sound. So if you're getting a clicking sound, uh, try another software. Um, so <clears throat> am I going to go through the, uh, you know what it is? Uh, I did, already did a video. And, uh, and while I was doing the video, I'm turning the microphone around and it just sounded weird i don't know if i want to do this part because there's a lot of people who are already bringing you through the settings of the mic um all right maybe i will okay hello sweetheart kiki keep it down sweetie okay so the front of the mic i will show you uh here's your uh your light uh it's got to be steady if it's blinking that means it's on mute and you'll learned that the hard way <laughs> so make sure it's a steady uh, red light and not blinking this is your volume control uh, this will be facing you you know when you're talking into the mic um, and this is this controls the volume that feeds through your headset of course it's whoop it's gonna all of this is gonna sound strange because I'm turning the mic around and but uh, deal with it okay and um, yeah okay so um, this is your uh, mini mic input, right uh, Right here. Everything's backwards. It's so awkward. There we go. And then this controls the volume. So you can actually monitor the sound that's being fed into the mic, which is fantastic. You know, you can hear if it's too loud. You could hear, you know, it's, it's just terrific that it has that feature. You could actually plug a headset in and you have a volume control for the headset. On the back, you have... Another volume control, but this is your input volume up here. And um, I have it all the way down to the lowest setting. And what I'll do is I'll just continue to talk and I'll just turn it up and up and up. And you'll hear, you know, the volume will increase. And you could also hear the sound of my fan. Did I say we're having a heat wave? Yeah, so, you know, that's what you're hearing, my turbo fan in the background. And that's one of the reasons the kid... Um, uh, at YouTube said to keep it low so you won't be picking up too much room noise and uh, you know you can see it's all the way down and ample uh, it, it, it's really all you need and um, but then of course you have the option of raising it and uh, here is your these are four settings I forgot what they call them there's a technical uh, term for it I knew it but uh, right now we're on stereo so you can hear um, you know, we have the, the right and left active. There's there's three condenser mics within the capsule. And, uh, you know, various settings, certain uh, mics are active. And uh, now we're on the stereo setting. I'll put it on Omni, which I, I assume is all three. And that's, you know, where you pick it up all around. And uh, I'm still not sure which one I like um, best for music, but I'm still working with it. Um, it seems the Omni would be would be better if you're playing guitar and singing and you know, but uh, I, I think I like the stereo better right now I'm going to put it on Cartoid and Cartoid is just the front mic um, Singles in to just the speaker in front and you know because as you can see I'll turn the mic around and you know The back mic isn't active, but now it will be now. It's front and back this is if you do it a an interview and somebody's you know, on the other side of the table. And then, as you can see, I'm turning the mic around and both mics are active front and back. So, um, <clears throat> put it back on stereo. So, um, you know, I, I did want to make that point because, uh, like I said, I, I almost returned the thing. I thought it was defective. It wasn't Yeti's fault. It was whatever, you know, the Logitech incompatibility or something with the Logitech and my computer. I can't really say for sure. But recording with the webcam and the Yeti mic through alternate uh, software uh, capture part of the of the alternate softwares and uh, and it worked fine you could hear there's no clicking or clipping 
So, uh, yeah, I put a shout out for Musician's Friend. I really love those guys. Um, the Shock Absorber and the Click Click. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, um, okie dokie. Till next time.